Hello there, I'm Dan Jamil. Welcome back to another episode of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Last time I was in the middle of exploring this area, and uh, this time I'm still exploring this area. <laughs> so, oh no! Wait a moment. Oh no! Oh well, I can get. Oh, is that the teleportation? Uh, how could I have? How could I have not seen that? That hole over there. Oh jeez. Anyway, I'll make my way there. Uh, even though I do not like the uh, the uh, the Japanese teleportation bullshit. So uh, I'll make my way there. He's the fabric. Yes, it is. My goodness. Here I am. I guess. Woo. So, change of pace. Change of pace. That's good. A book. Let me read it. Back steel. A banded blade art that lets you slip behind phones and steal from them. That's only for, uh,. Daggers, I guess. Invert. Invert. Okay. Oh. Uh, Carabas, help me. MP max up. Cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Treasure chest. Hair oh. apparent. Two. Okay. And this potion, well, underwhelming, I might say, under freaking whelming. <laughs> this was the only good thing about this place was the MP up. Ah, uh, now I have to find my way back. Hmm. Here we go. I'm here again. Come on, come on down here. One of the walk. Oh, chase. Okay, I can do it. Ah, jeeps. All right, so I made my way back here, and. Uh, let me guess, I need to go upwards. Ah! What the hell is that? A cat? Okay. I can deal with a cat. What I cannot. Uh, what do I not want to deal with? These monkeys. Come back here, you bitch. I'll give you a taste of your own medicine. There you go. There's an area over here. I'll get to that soon. Soy sauce! Oh, jeez. I love me the soy sauce. And this is... 
Hair apparent. Five, six, seven, eight. Hair apparent. Eight. Cool. Oh, the monkeys again. Oh. Got it. Here we go. You bitch. Alright, catch a number. Not the monkey's number, mind you, but I got somebody's number. Oh my, that's another cat. Woo! Okay. That's a new cat. Oh my. So, next place. Come on, let's go. Madhu, okay. And that's our reference to Naruto. Hey, Katon no Jutsu! Katon no Jutsu! Okay. What shall I see here? Woo! Nothing too special. Katon no Jutsu! Um, you let somebody get behind you, you failure of a ninja. You let somebody get behind you. Shinobi guard. Uh, a garment from the far east that allows you to move silently. Wow, that's a lot of good things. That's a lot of good things from that garment. I don't know, Valkyrie dress has more defense, but... While wow, this shinobi garb has a lot of defense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, I love the Valkyrie dress. I love it how it looks on Miriam. But, shinobi garb, my goodness. That is, that is high quality stuff. Very high quality stuff. Look oh, here! Oh, a manju? I got a manju out of that? Okay. Ah, oh, no, not you again. You bitch. Okay. I got more soy sauce. That's awesome. Oh my goddess. Come on. Give me the ninja. This is so awesome. That's so awesome. That's amazing transition battling. But, uh... Was there a hidden area or something? That's kind of cool, by the way. That's really cool. Ah, oh, jeez. A new book. That's a boss area right there. The ritual is tomorrow, but we have a problem. One of the children we selected, Miriam, has fallen into a deep slumber. And her crystal, which accounts for half the catalyst we intended to use, has lost its power. I suspect my friend, but it matters not. The ritual's chances of success have waned, but we must find a way. Whilst Bale did not come, the summoning was a triumphant success. Demons have flooded into our world, providing the validity of the kills belief and the necessity of our presence however I never imagined it would lead to such a catastrophe was I a fool to hand my superiors so blindly but what is done is done what the fuck man of course it was gonna be bad demons demons flowing into our world oh, of course it would be bad oh well it it made Miriam extremely strong so I don't know uh, tit, tit for tat, I guess. So, yeah. Boss area right here. But I need to go back for the other uh, unexplored areas. Alright, let's go up. Because I don't want to deal with the monkeys right now. You bitch! 
Whoa! God damn it, monkeys! Uh, what can I do here? Ah! God damn, monkeys! Demon wing! Who's that? Talisman? What the heck is that? A ritual Eastern Talisman imbued with the protection of the Kami. Okay. Um, I don't know what I can get with that, but it is very uh, useful. It had a lot of good stacks, so... Yep. Maybe I'll wear it another time. Okay, I'm going this way now. Whoa! You use inverted also? Okay. I can use it too. What is this? Ah! Oh my goodness, Carpenter's Room. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Oh! Another demon! Oh, a dark... A demon lord? What the fuck? What the fuck? A demon lord? Oh my goodness. You bitch! Die! Die! do you have oh my goodness that was that was an ordeal chisel barrage launch a series of chisels are you gonna kill yourself now or are you bugged um, imbued in bird bone Oh jeez! Not again! Ah! Not again! Not again! Oh fuck! Hold on! Woo! So I can challenge him again if I want to, I guess. But damn! He whenever I jump, he threw that at me with a hundred percent accuracy. I don't know. I, I didn't know how to deal with it except jump on his head like. <laughs> I know it was a cheesy way to win, but leave me alone. Uh, it's my style. So I think that was uh, the carpent carpenter key that I had on my person. Uh, cool. <laughs> I mean, really, really cool boss and all, but very hard, very hard. Woo. I did not die. I did not die because of that at Carpenter. So those optional bosses are extremely hard to beat. Good to know, good to know. That makes it a challenge. So the only... The only reason I did that so half-assed was because I could. Because I could just jump on his head again and again and again and again. And he had a lot of health. So that means I need to upgrade my weapons, I need to level up, I need to do everything. So, new boss. 
I've been waiting for you, Miriam. Sangetsu. Of course you would be here. Of course you would be the boss. The Shardbinders should be struck from existence. Is that it? Correct. But I am here to test you. Not end you. I see. I have no quarrel with you, Zangetsu. Perhaps not. But Carnage is the language I speak. If we are to come to an understanding, this is how we do it. Uh -huh. Now, fight as if your life depended on it. As <laughs> always. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Take this. Ow. Ah, jeez. Ah, come on, I guard it. Ah. There you go. What are you gonna do? Oh. Ow! Ah, god damn it. Ah. What are you gonna do? Ah, fuck. Again. Oh, I don't have any more MP. God damn it, again. Ah. Thunder. Oh my god. First try. Enough. His blade. How do you expect me to fight as if my life depends on it when you are clearly not? <laughs> <laughs> you could tell. Ah, oh, shit. It gets harder from here. Okay. Uh, I just needed to relearn his attacks, but his attacks were new. So, <laughs> I, I wanted to remember my last fight with Sangetsu, but clearly it does not matter because I did get a few guards counterattacks you know uh, parry repost but not a lot of them because uh, the the dash and the fire got me a lot of times and uh, yeah it was not good but I survived first time with the her with the help of Carabas so with your skill you could have destroyed me in a heartbeat. I have a gift for you. Really? What is it? A katana, Zangetsu. What? What are you doing? My sword. The Zangetsuto. Zangetsu I came to England in pursuit of a demon named Gremory. Only by that blade may she be cut down. Is that like the moral blade? Gremory? That's the demon that attends Jeeple. But why give the sword to me? I've tried making contact with Gremory. 
but I have yet to cross paths with her even once. Right. You think she's avoiding you? She must be. And surely you have noticed that man you're after, Jeebel. Gremory is controlling you. I... I know. <sighs> but her hold on him is not absolute. Perhaps you have seen signs. A moment of weakness. A diminishing of his resolve. Yeah. Yes. When I faced him on the galleon. Good. That means your ties to Jeebel are still stronger than Gremory's. And I she see. knows it. Which means she will not allow Jeebel to be alone with you. When she appears, use that blade and cut her down. Nice. But wait. Why not come with me and do it yourself? Because if she fears me more than she fears relinquishing Jeebel, then we risk losing her. I will have right. my vengeance on her. Even if it means parting with the sword. And there is something else I need to clear up while you deal with Gremory. Really? All right. I will finish what you started. What I started? I will. <laughs> I am certain you will. Thank you, Sangetsu. Oh! That, was, that battle was admirable. It was amazing. Even though I did almost die, but that just means I need to get better. I need to get better at countering, I need to get better at dodging, I need to get better at attack, all of that jazz. So, Gremory. So, but the Sangetsu, Sangetsu to, it's a katana? Yeah, it's a katana. Uh, a great blade whose whose bears are giving the name Zangetsu or Moon Sunderer. Okay, that's a counter. Uh, no, no other attacks. No other attacks. Okay. Cool. Uh, katana. Katana is not my preferred weapon, but eh, it's fine for now, I guess. Is it better than the U sword? Of course not. <laughs> but, uh. Cool. Cool. So let me think a while. Should I go to Jeebel? Or uh, explore a little bit? Uh, oh, before I forget, there was an item over here or somewhere over in that general direction that I needed a chest like this that is way, hu way high up and I could not get it. So I'm gonna go there first. Then I'm gonna go to Arventville, complete the quests. And uh, then leave the episode there and or go to Jeebel. One of those, so <sighs> we'll be right back. Oh, there was an MP up here. And Karabas didn't warn me. Uh, she's a little bit slow on the update. Oh, it was War Horse. What the heck? I was right all along. It was War Horse Key, not Warehouse Key. Ah, uh, yeah. the internet is trying to trick me, but that's what I get for uh, researching, I guess. Here's the uh, uh, 
uh, thing that I couldn't get before. So, here it is. I got a black belt. What does it do? A belt worn by Eastern Master of the Martial Arts increases attack speed. Oh, that is really good. But, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I like my critical hits, and I do like the increased rate of uh, item drops, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, I'm here. Here's what I've I turned up on the monsters. did the uh, gushing ones, and I get a crimsonite. Good. Here's what I've turned up what on else? the monsters. What else? What else? What else? Oh, never mind. Nothing. Nothing else. So, Zangetsu Cho. Uh, Dominique, I got the Zangetsu Cho. Hello. How can I help you? You don't. You're not what worried are you about to buy? me getting the Zangetsu Cho, are you? Oh, well. It's fine. Thank you. Oh. What about you? Editor, what are we transmuting this time? Anything interesting here? Wait. When did I get bovine plumes? When? When did I get them? Oh my goodness! Uh, allows jump to higher, uh, jump higher than normal. I'll go with yes. This. Please. I got the high jump. Nice, but I need a lot more. I need a lot more bovine plumes. Ah. Uh, Jesus. What did I need the bovine plume for? Uh, to improve this and the high jump, of course. So, bovine plume. Zonke Gremory of the seventy-two demons. Ah! I skipped it. Sorry about that. I knew Jeeva wasn't a monster. He's possessed by one. Then there's a good chance we can free him. I'll do whatever it takes. This time, this time I can so free him. So will I, but. Gremory. Oh, this explains so much. Jeebel could never have accomplished something this heinous with his crystal alone. Now adding Gremory's power to his, well, uh, that pushes it into the realm of possibility. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. I, once I start theorizing, I, I can't be stopped. Well, stop. <laughs> because uh, that's really grim and all, but still. Bovine. Uh, demons. Uh, where's the bovine? Where's the bovine? Uh, is the demon named bovine or something? Let me see. Oh! These things drop it. The, uh, Hagenti. Oh my goodness. I need to hunt a lot of these ones. <laughs> I need to hunt a lot of them. <laughs> okay. I need to hunt a lot of them. <laughs> My goodness. It's good. So, what'll it be? Come back. So, what can I do with this? Woo! High jump. I got the. Uh, I got the high jump. I thought I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> so. Woo! So. My next objective would be the only objective there is. Go to the boss. Go to the last boss. 
I need the war horse key and the millionaire's key. That's what I the only thing I need for now. And uh If this is if this game takes up after uh Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which it does which it does, it's very, very, very inspired by it, and it's extremely similar, then... Jeeble is not gonna be the end. After I go to that place, the Jeeble's room, and use the Zangetsuto, on Gremory, which will be somewhere near Jeeble. Somewhere near Jeeble. And, uh... I don't know. So this is the thing that I said in the previous episodes. That when I got the game over from killing Jeeble plainly, like the castle didn't disappear, the demons didn't disappear, so Miriam did absolutely nothing in that ending. The same thing happened in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. If you battled Richard straight up going to Dracula's castle, you would fail because you would get the game over like I just got it and nothing would have been resolved but if you acquire one item I forgot what item it was I don't remember if you acquire that specific item in Symphony of the Night and uh, I think it will it has something to do with defeating the Maria and Richard doppelgangers way down in the map I don't I don't I don't know because if you go defeat Richard straight up you will not get the mist transformation I think so you need to you need the mist transformation to get into other areas so you can get the item so you can get the inverted castle so you can defeat Dracula Instead of Richard, you defeat Dracula instead in the true ending. Uh, so this is exactly it right here. The same thing happens, the same principle. Uh, either you go defeat Jeeble, which is bad because you, Miriam, will do absolutely nothing except killing an old friend, and Gremory will still be at large. Or <laughs> go all the way around, go through the entire map, uh, meet Zangetsu to battle him a second time, and get his sword, Zangetsu to. I hope it works, because it's supposed to be like a mortal blade of the Sekiro series, like, uh, you can sever immortality with that sword alone. Only that sword. <laughs> so, I think it's like that. So, I'm gonna leave it here. And uh, before I go to the uh, leveled up castle, if there is one, which I'm 100% sure there is, after defeating Gremory or wounding her, and then defeating, or defeating Jeeble, and then use the Sangetsu to on Gremory, I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna use the Sangetsu to at the beginning of the battle. I'm not an expert with katanas in this game, I've only used the sword uh, so far uh, intensively. Let me just call it that. So, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but, uh, but I'm gonna use the Sangetsu to nonetheless. I still have the counter for the Sagetsu to the technique, so I think thing I think things will go my way because I am planning to level up. I am planning 
to get my shards up, the grades up, and the rank up. So yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of farming. By then my beard will grow twice the size or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, amazing game. I'm still loving it. I'm still having a lot of fun. And I'm still going to have a lot of fun in the future. This is not the end. Mind you, the next episode is not going to be the end. There's still a whole lot more. So, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on the next one. And have a good night. Oh, <laughs>